another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're watching Shadow and Bold. This is episode four of season one. Hopefully, guys are enjoying the series so far. Thank you to every single person that's recently subscribed to the Patreon page. I know you guys are loving the Vampire Diaries that are being put on there every single day, as well as the originals and the full episodes of this series as well. It's getting put over there. You know, people who have been supporting the Vampire Diaries, they've been watching it every day on YouTube, but it is slowly decreasing a little bit so we can put new variety on there. But it's still going to be put on the Patreon. You can go over there and enjoy to recap the last episode on Shadow and Bone, we had um, Kaz, who was trying to make his way through the fold, wasn't he? He hired the, uh, what what was the guy called? The commissioner, did he say? Is that his name? They hired him to try and take them across. He's got a train, pretty much, and they go through in the darkness. Now, they had to stay in the little pod that they got given and not even move. They had to have a specific uh, set of materials to get through as well. They needed a goat for some reason, some coal. And I think they needed one more thing, I can't remember. But Jasper, I think his name was, he was tasked with getting the coal. And you know what? He took the money. Even Kaz said to him, look, mate, all she got to do is go and get the coal and come back. Well, he's got a gambling problem. He went out, got hooked on... Uh, <laughs> was it poker or blackjack? Got hooked, went in, lost the money. Looked like he was going to be he was going to be late because um, they was waiting to cross. It turns out he's running there. He's getting shot. He's getting you know people attacking him. He gets there, gives a call. He hasn't got enough, so you know they pretty much took it out into the fold without enough uh, supplies to make it through the other side. Halfway across, they ran out. Train went off the tracks as he was skidding through it. The Volker started attacking. Well, it looked like it was going to be the end of them, but um, Jesper he actually stood up. You know. Tried to own his mistakes, got his gun out, had an amazing little gun scene. He's like, pow, 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 shooting them all, attacking them all. Safely made it through the other side. So that is interesting for them because while he was there as well, uh, before when he was getting the supplies, Kaz seen um, that guy that I said before, was it? Is it the commissioner, uh, speaking to somebody from the West. And they're the ones that want to attack the king, I think. They want to take part of the part of the kingdom away from the king and the king doesn't want that that is why he's got alina he's there she's shown him that she's the sun summoner he said how quick can we get you out into battle they they was told that she's not quite ready yet she needs to learn how to fight and uh, the guy with the darkness you know he said that he would train her and um get her up to scratch so they went outside she tried to do some training she um she said that she could fight but not really she she can fight like fist fight but not like the magical powers like the grisha and she ended up getting put in a match and uh, she ended up just getting like boom mate like dragon ball z style across the room and uh, yeah it was, it was mad and then she went to uh, speak to somebody and she said uh you know if you're not going to believe that you're grisha then we can't help you come back when you start believing the strength that you've got so i think that is really interesting um and we didn't really see much of marley's episode well last episode but we're keep seeing though that she keeps having dreams and she keeps having writing letters and she's consistently like doing that thing where she's laid down and she's like twitching her hand you know as if that she was holding his so that is interesting hopefully we can get a little love story a little match up towards them at the end but i'm really excited now because now kaz has made it through the fold even though i don't think they're supposed to be the main characters i think alina is definitely supposed to be the main character and mal I really like the storyline with Kazmi. Like, that's the one that's interesting me the most. So I can't wait to see what happens in today's video. If you guys enjoy it, please smash the like on the button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for clicking on my video. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> Weeks gone and still no word from you. This is my third letter. Just before we carry on, that is interesting that because I did say in the last episode she was writing to him and did she not say the same thing that this is like my 10th letter that I'm writing? And I think I made the comment that there's no way that they're going to allow the letter from her in the king's, uh, in the king's place. I forgot what it's called, the little palace or something. Uh, to get to him I just said that wouldn't happen and it obviously looks like it's the same as well he's sending letters to her and she's not receiving them I tried bribing a squaller to get word to you he laughed at me and I wasn't sure how to answer I can't stop seeing your face sat down the skiff I'm not sure I ever will I look oh, so not got a letter again I love it when she says that <laughs> a new open assignment has come down from us, Alta. Every unit north of Chernast is tasked with volunteering a tracking party. Morisova's stag. <laughs> and then there oh, it was. She has the dreams of it. I knew the drawing was yours. 
The Black General has finally lost it. <laughs> Wasting our soldiers on second army nonsense. I'll do it. I'll go. I'm going horse riding? With General Kerrigan. Oh, I need to train, not be trotted around town. The sooner I can do what I need to do, the sooner I can get back to your life. Come on. You don't want to keep him waiting. Fate forbid. Why? Is he angry? This might do the trick. She does look sick in those, in those clothes, though. Not like the colour I chose for you. You're the only one who wears it. Tell me, are you so anxious to be like everyone else? It'd be nice to know what it feels like someday. Please, call me Alexander. That went well. <laughs> the little palace winter fate. There's just no way he can find a way to the sun summoner without Nina. There's a good chance we can crack on. Turns out the Kubinsk archives house the little palace blueprint. Yes. What does that mean? Oh, time for a heist. And it look how excited he is. <laughs> I leave you a bullet to remember me. I leave you in the care of this lovely barmaid. I have a job for you. We need to hitch a ride east to the little palace. But that's the hardest job. You managed to win us over, didn't you? What do you see? The... Someone's version of me. Or perhaps the real you has finally emerged. I mean, the guy's saying all the right things, like Tyler does, man, to Caroline every time like, she's on the edge. He always says something, like, drags her in every time. And this guy does it as well, man. Is your room satisfactory? Well, I've never had warming stones put in my bed before. I do know how you feel. When I was a boy, I used to run away and hide here. I realized that I was a descendant of the most hated Grisha in Ravka. This is his story, isn't it? You know it just from these old pictures? Shadow Summoner. You can say it. The Black Heretic. The heretic so hungry for more power. And the king, fearing a coup, put a bounty on his head and any Grisha that stood by him. But he failed. He created the fold instead. And was killed oh. by it. Along with countless others. I devoted my life to undoing the great sin of my forebearer. That's why you look at me like that, isn't it? I'm your solution. Only if I fail, I'll turn on you. If you believe anything, I believe I will not let that happen. You and I are going to change the world, Alina. Wonder where she's gonna wish that Mal's there though. Do you know what I mean? Like, this guy's talking, yeah, as if like, well, he says they're gonna change the world, but in t to me, he's insinuating like relationship sort of style as well, like uh, as well as obviously like taking the fall down. But I think she's just like in it for Mal, me. Like she's like team Mal all the way. She doesn't even care what this guy's saying. But it's interesting though. So that guy, his descendants, then his forefathers or whatever you would call them, they're the ones that actually uh, made the fold. Um, it's accidental, well, wasn't it? Was he not trying... He just said then he was trying to create his own army um, and then it didn't go well and he just boom, made the fold and obviously he ended up dying while he was doing it. And I suppose as well that this guy's probably lived all his life with everyone blaming sort of him as one of the reasons why it's there when technically it's not his fault but he has to live with the burden of what he's his family have done in the past and this is probably why he's so excited that she's here as well as the added bonus that she's like really good looking and he's probably wants to try and get in there but in terms of the fact that like the gift that she's got can actually take away the hatred that people have towards him because obviously he is strong as we've seen when he poof mate slit that guy's head off with i don't even know what he done there like but he was sick and he brings the darkness with him but also as well it probably makes him a lonely guy people probably don't even want to be around him because they see him as probably one of the reasons why everything's the way it is i'll see you soon sat stone for it didn't have to oh these are for me all i ask is that you track down one of those skittering belly balls for dinner <laughs> i don't even understand how you keep finding those little bastards but my mouth is salivating just talking about them Okay, the boys, let's get on with it. Stop it! I'll stop when you start. Ah, ah. Enough. Not nearly enough. That 
was a successful day, oh, that mate. Agra released a hive of bees on me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Once Mal gets here, it will be better. He's seen me through everything. He'll know the right thing to say to get me through this. I've invited him, so any day now. Oh, make sure he's announced so we can be with you when he arrives. All right. Royal Archives heist. Here's the game plan. Watchmen are on guard around the clock. In edge, the dome on the roof is directly above the repository where the blueprints to the little palace are kept. Got it. That's my way in. I'm working on a real showstopper for the Winter Fate. I need the dimensions to the little palace entrances. The grand piece may be too grand. Wait here, with bated breath. I'll set a trail of phosphorus that will lead you straight to the target. The repository oh, is secured at all times behind a two-part lock mechanism. May the sun summon and bless you. Oh, I'm not a believer. Well, truth be told, neither am I. I'll take my cue once I see the lights go out. They, she looks sick, don't you, mate? Look at that. If you're heavy-handed, you'll bleed the ink. I know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, that's naughty, that. Turned off. I don't know how. Where... Oh. He said that the only way out was the way you come in, but she's just took the rope down, so she's not actually ever going to go out that way. She's going to have to fight her way out. And fun fact, yeah, my job that I do is surveying, and I, I work with drawings like that all the time. And in programs like this, they always go on like blueprint, uh, blueprints. Uh, sacred. It's so hard to get. Oh, how somebody got a blueprint to a bank? How somebody got... Mate, I've got yeah a blueprint to about five million buildings, and it's about five million jobs, uh, drawings per job. So name enough, every single person in the world could easily access them. So not just in these times, I just mean in general. Even in modern day, people in films go on like it's so hard to get, and it really isn't. Ah, <laughs> oh, mate, they look so good in those outfits. That is so good. Nice, oh, Kaz. Bit slow on the draw there. Or just in time. General. You wanted to see me, sir? Nina's been on a priority mission for me. But she's not reported in. If she's alive, she may need our help. I need you to find her for me. That guy's personality then, right, he's always been dead chirper, dead nice to Alina, but here he seems like a bit dark, you know, like he, his actual mist that he brings in. Um, he's, yeah, I wouldn't say evil, that's not what I mean, but yeah, he, he seemed definitely dark. No way out. Well, I thought this plan might not work. He's got another one, he's made a distraction. Magical deer scan. This has different... Even in the frost, they're not going hungry. He's a big guy. Man moves his shit. What's that in your hand? Nothing. Did you pick up the stag shit? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. What? Why? Isn't the stag one of these creatures that gives the Grisha more power? I want half your cut. Guy uh -huh. wants half of everyone's cut. And I was just shucking with shit hands. I'm not even sure why I bothered to write this letter. I may never have a chance to send it. I brought you food. It's likely poison. You want something from me? Our witches so used to deceit, they can't accept good manners. Manners? Oh, you talk of manners when you have me in chains, starving. I do want something from you. Answers. Were you born a witch or was that by choice? Were you born a prick or was it a choice? <laughs> Why am I even arguing with you? You're not here to change your mind on anything. I feel nothing about you. Says the one who uses magic to stop a man's heart. Even know what heart render does can also soothe tempers. Calm someone in pain. You said 
The man you work for will hunt me down. You mean the Darkling? You're pathetic. You come here with your sad little peace offering when all you want is information on him. You don't have to tell me anything. Just take it. Stop it, Marvin. Oh. I will not take scraps from the likes of you. You will. In the end, but right now she's gonna fight until her last breath, innit? Do you know what's mad there, right? It's like, that guy, he actually didn't ask that bad questions. She was like, do your parents ever teach you anything? Did he, was his questions not, was you born a Grecian? and was your parents Grecian? I think they're quite acceptable questions to ask me, to be honest. I mean, he's obviously got his own agenda. He might be crapping it because a guy, he, she told him that a guy's going to kind of uh, go and come and hunt him down. So he's like, me, I need, I need to know what's going on. But there's other people down in that, that basement or wherever she's been kept. And um, we're not even going to one of them speak yet. He's not even going to spoke to anyone. And also, there's a form of torture. I think it's like Chinese torture or something where like they lie you on the floor and they just drip water on you that's it just little drips just bouncing off your head and like it drives you absolutely insane apparently so like she's in that boat and she's just getting salt consistently i bet it's driving her literally mental what are you so cheery about this is marco marco is the leader of the traveling troop known as the pondracon players but they lost their star performer due to an unfortunate oh, yeah, accident Desperate need of someone with the skills to replace their star performer. As a friend once said, if I can't crack this, none of us are going anywhere. I'm gonna get a good scene now, yeah. This is what you call mad talent. That is some current, literally amazing talent. Show will go on. Now, can you fit into this? The thing is, Inej. Comes as part of a package deal. What are your talents? <laughs> that is sick. He's gonna shoot that card out of my mouth. Oh, fucking hell. That is sick. Stage is yours, sir. I'll make my own way. <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, just to see what he's got, man. Guy's just a businessman. Let me just say, that was sick, honestly. Both of them talents were sick. She put her life literally on the line. The guy's got a sick shot, hasn't he? Something to boost my strength. You can't light a doorway on your own. What would you amplify? When Kerrigan touched me. General Kerrigan can't be your crutch forever. Oh, she's gonna use anger, rage. There she is. Yo, mate, she's literally transitioned into a different scene. How many times will we be out there in that field? If it's not the Grisha trying to separate us, it'll be the war. We can't hide forever. What day is this? Is this ready both cut the hand? Thought you could hide. We cannot test him like this. His injury makes it impossible. You stowed me then, boy. Oh, she put a fake bandage on her hand. This will prick. Just breathe and relax your arms. It's tested. Oh, I thought she wanted to test it. You sudden pain to detect Grisha powers. So protect oh. She is not Grisha. Yeah, that's mad that. I was just doing whatever I could to not be separated from Mal. You protected yourself by denying yourself. He was bullied when he was alone. You had plans. Perhaps he never did, because where is he now? Hey, man's on a mission to get here. How many more Ravkin children need to be orphaned to this war because you were afraid to face the truth? Anyway, I was fireball her face. <laughs> they all blame it, eh? She's gonna let her hair down, so to speak, with this guy because she thinks Mal's not coming. Galena, here. And there is talk of an uprising in the West, led by our esteemed First Army General. The coffers are running dry, the noose tightens, and our own people are turning against Grisha just as their kin once did. I've been waiting a long time for you. Are you good? Oh, I like that transition. That was really good, actually. I you know what, I'd love to see more of that. You know, like from two perspectives, one side of the wall. Justin. 
storm is overtaking us. Kill the captives. The last thing we want is for one of them to get loose when we're taking all water. They are due to stand trial. So? This reminds me of Leonardo DiCaprio when the Revenant. We're crossing into Fjordan territory! The last chance to turn around. Um, you two split the prize. Guys, loves his splitting, doesn't he? I keep writing to you as if these words could reach you before I do. Maybe what I'm doing is rehearsing what to say to you. Yeah, I wonder if she's going to get a letter. I actually wanted to get one, like... Anything for me? Oh, that's annoying. Together. Okay. Together. That does look sick. I love it anything with fire. When we were kids, you'd hold my hand, and sometimes I'd hear it in the back of my head. It's the middle of the night, but I'm awake. Then I hear that sound again. It's got like intense, well, quick. Oh, someone's there, an animal. Them things, I oh, that's a brutal death. Chet has got a machine gun. Oh, they're getting gunned down. He got gunned down. Oh, God, don't expect that. Mate, he's proper been laced with a few bullets there. How's he going to survive? His mate's dying. One of them looks like Luis Capaldi, do you not think? I was going to say, man, they were just absolutely chilling, having a good kip, guys having a wee. Somebody comes over, a whole gang, for no reason, tries to kill them. It's mad, isn't it, how, like, in times like these, you just kill other people. Like, you just instantly kill somebody that you don't know just because it's someone different. But, like, I was going to say, it must be absolutely devastating if you go to attack someone and you're the one that gets killed yourself. That is an absolute wounder because you had the advantage as well to strike first because they didn't know you was there and they get swung back around then you die. But then... <laughs> Machine gun, not sure about that, me. I don't know how they're surviving any of that. Excuse me, I'm looking for Alina Starkov. Got in a fight with the quartermaster. He called her a name and she hit him. Now she's in the brig. The quartermaster, aren't you? Mm. Oh, that's good. He got locked up in there just so we can see her. Eleven stitches. They do match, mate. I really want these two to be together, actually. I like it. I'm defo for the long game. I need you to do something for me. Personal letter, get in there. Erase it. Oh, shit. I was like, get in there. She's like trying to take it away. Go on, son. Oh, his mates are dead as well. What an absolute fighter, mate. I'm fucking well team, Mal. Get in there, son. Stags there as well, that's what he first seen before it. And that looks sick, doesn't it? Know that when I told you about True North, I was talking about you. You oh, are my True North. And she's going to get this letter tomorrow or something. Oh, Alina, you pissed me off this episode i can't believe you've just done that while he's absolutely grafting his balls off just trying to even see he's come see you again for one time like literally the guys in life and death fights and you're just pissed that he's just not got a letter off him and it's not even you know it, how do you even know that you let us get in there how do you even know that he's do you know what i mean like he can't just give up like that he just uh, it's kind of annoying that that's gonna wrap up today's video i mean 
while Miles are absolutely grafting life and death, mate, to get, just to get an invitation to get to the place where she is. He's literally out in the blizzard, in the snow, trying to get this stag. He's fighting, his friends are getting killed, the guy's literally been machine gunned down, and as a true little warrior that he actually is, mate, he still, like, survived, took him out, what a guy, and as well. And you've seen it there, the guy's consistently writing letters, he's wrote loads of them, and just because she hasn't received them doesn't mean the guy's ignoring her. Now, I do understand from her perspective, yeah, that I've sent loads of letters and, you know, he's not writing me back, so she can be a bit sad, but, like, you can't be dead quick to give up on somebody like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've got a cut on your hand there, yeah, and that symbolises, it's kind of like getting a tattoo in it, a husband, wife or something, get a tattoo, matching thing, bind you, bond you together, and then just because, what, like, one little inconvenience, so to speak, like... The guy's physically not done anything to her and she, he's not even said anything to her but she's just assuming and she wants to just now erase it. You know, it's kind of annoying. It is a little bit annoying but um, to me, the general, I think he looks pretty sick to be honest, uh, introduced as a fighter. Well, it, when he was introduced, he, he took out that guy, he looked unreal and, um, you know, told the interesting story that it's his forefathers or descendants that they were the ones that created the fold and he's the one that's... Um, kind of getting all the stick for it to be honest he's getting blamed as an action from somebody else and he wants to take it down just as much as anyone else and he says he's been waiting so long for Alina to do it and uh he was getting quite intimate as well he touched her face and she seems to be getting into it um but we all to me anyway we've seen another side of him where it seemed like a i would say like a nasty side uh, i would just call it a nasty and evil side just so you can understand what i mean in terms of like with her he's dead happy dead chirping and this side he was like oh dead mean like find that girl we need her now do you know what i mean like uh, it's making me think that if he's got some sort of agenda himself and uh what is it uh kaz as well i love the fact to how they got into um into that place and stole the blueprints obviously the assassin she's pretty sick mate i love how she comes down on that rope that thing where they sprayed the ink and dropped it on so clever and the way he slid that thing underneath his foot and then he obviously when he stretched it across when he went into the night and the lights turned off that it glowed that's absolutely unreal like literally really good jesper as well how good is he at shooting um he timed the shot boom mate to the time of the bell so she could escape through the door she was gonna attack that guy it was kaz she was like a bit slow he's like actually mate it was on time perfect timing that's what i would call it love that and then obviously the way they're going to get inside the palace now is that guy did help them he, he injured the person when she fell down off the thing i was saying you guys put a planning together and it was me it was for her to come in that is some skill that like, i don't even know what it's called but spinning around on those ropes with no like protection is absolutely unreal mate such such skill so she's flipping and flopping around there going up and down and then obviously jesper he wants to so that's her ticket in joining that pand and now jesper as well he's got a ticket got the mirror behind him bang mate shot the card out of my mouth while she was spinning absolutely next level and then he went over to kaz right what's your trick guys like nah mate man's got no trick i'll make my own way there <laughs> and he wouldn't do it anyway literally he's just like the boss i'm the architect you know what i mean it's my plans and we go for it the guy in the boat, he was interesting. He was asking a, um, asking the Grisha girl that he tied up, was you born Grisha? He parents Grisha. She's insinuating, like, she took it as if to say, you know, the guy's just trying to make himself feel good that, like, um, about taking her out. But I think the guy's actually curious. And the interesting thing is when the, uh, the, the captain came in and said the boat's possibly sinking and he might have to go and kill the people, the guy said, mate, but they're supposed to be on trial. You know, like, you know, they, and... To me, you do get people like this. Like, you get people like doing the job even if you know it's bad. And um, actually, he doesn't even know it's bad. It's maybe what he's been told, you know. He's been told Grisha are bad and, they get, and you get them, you bring them here, they go on trial. That is the process that he has been told. And in his head, he's following the rules. He gets her, takes her. She's not cleared uh, if she's cleared she's on a merry way she's not she dies so to speak and for him now to think in her head that possibly she's not going to go to free trial and be put as guilty instantly he, he doesn't like that because that's not his process that's not his rules to him although you might see him as doing a bad thing he has got his principles and he understands what's right and what's wrong so i think that this guy is going to do something interesting i think the bolt's going to go down he's going to cut everybody in there free to be honest i think everyone in there is going to die apart from that girl uh, because they haven't even spoke yet or moved so i don't even know what they've got to play she, they're probably there just to fill the background up so it makes it look like we're not just focusing in on her so i'm interested with that storyline uh, this guy might actually be uh, a key to um something that's interesting further down the line but that's going to wrap up today's video if you guys did enjoy it please smash a like and a button it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new thank you for clicking on my video and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys